everybody! Welcome to our show! Uh, is it time for the dog giveaway? Stop! <laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. It has been a very, very long time. We have been super busy these past two months actually. But we wanted to come back with something that we felt like it was very appropriate nowadays Because you know crazy things have been going on and we just really don't know nowadays what's gonna be next So by the title of this video you guys already know we are gonna show you our go bags And this is a video that we had already filmed a while back and for some reason those recordings got lost So we're doing it again. So this is not our first time seeing everything, but it has been a while like yeah like, I don't even remember what's in there. I don't know. I don't remember what's in there either It's gonna be kind of like our first time So a go bag is pretty much a backpack filled with emergency items in case a disaster comes or you need to Evacuate the area where you live in you have all the necessary things um, to live off of for For a couple of days, I guess and we're going to be using an article from JW.org. I'll show you guys on the screen what it looks like. After we go through this backpack, we're going to reference back to this list and we're going to see everything that's on the list and see what we're still missing. And then whatever we're missing, we're going to go get it. So in our area, we have a lot of tornadoes. So it's very important to have this because we have a little bit of a warning when there's a tornado coming, um, but it's not much. But um, a lot of the friends that live in like California, the earthquakes have no warning. They just happen instantly. There's a lot of disasters that can happen and reasons why you should have the go bags. It's always important to have these somewhere where you can get them uh, fast and uh, be prepared to evacuate. And also like for example, we live in an RV. So obviously this is not a very safe place to be when there's a tornado. <laughs> so it's very important for us and anybody who is also joining the RV lifestyle to have your go bags because you never know when you need to just run. So anyways, let's get into showing you what we have in our go bags. Backpack, 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 yeah! <laughs> uh. So we each- that thing's bigger than you. Alex actually found these backpacks on Amazon and I'll show you guys a picture of it. I'll link it down below so you guys can know exactly which backpack we're showing you. So this backpack is called the Emergency Zone. Oh, there it is. The company that makes it is Emergency Zone. It looks like this. It has a whole bunch of pockets. What I like about it is that this is like everything that's in here is what it came with and there's still so much room. Later on when we figure out what else we need, we can, you know, I feel like it's gonna fit fine. I just figured out, actually, when I was looking at the Amazon product, that it's actually for four people. So I feel very good about that because if um, somebody comes along that maybe isn't as prepared or they maybe forgot something, we might be able to help them out. All right, the first item we have is a kitty cat. Why would we need this for a disaster? It makes no sense. It does. I'm just kidding. It brings us comfort. That's not part of the go bag. <laughs> Both of our go bags are actually slightly different. So I'm gonna take out one thing and then you can take out something else and then just like that. We'll just go back and forth. Okay. Okay, you go first. Mine feels like it has bricks inside. Oh, very coronavirus appropriate. A toilet paper. Uh, it has a roll of toilet paper, single ply, and some glow sticks. So if you ever need to go to the restroom in the middle of the night, you can see. Yep, that's very much needed. Uh, I haven't even opened mine. Hold up. Okay, first thing I'm taking out on mine. Oh, oh, so this one has two sleeping bags two hand warmers, and two ponchos, and then one emergency tube tent. Ooh. A whole tent. Wow, I don't, I feel like that's a lot for it to fit in one little tiny Ziploc bag. So do we have to like separate? Like you get one and I get one? Yeah. Because what if I have the toilet paper but you have the tent? And what, if, like we get separated or something? Yeah, I I'm gonna make my house out of toilet paper. Actually, that's a good idea to split this up, like give you a sleeping bag and then give you a poncho and a warmer head warmer. But then I'm gonna I'm gonna be the one with the tent. So That's fine. I'll always have protection. I, I want you to have the tent. You can have the tent and I'll have the first aid kit. Oh, okay. So in this little first aid kit there's gloves, hand wash cleaning wipes. You're like dropping everything. Uh, little cotton balls, um, a CPR mask. 
some gauze, band-aids, scissors, in case you want to cut your hair. Um, a bunch of other bandages, and that's pretty much it. So I feel like a good idea would be to like maybe add some pain pills or some allergy pills if you guys are allergic to things. We can't afford to have a severe allergic reaction in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so next thing on in my backpack is a water bottle. A 16 ounce water bottle with a filter and it has a filtered straw so it filters the water whenever you drink it. That's cool. Cool. Oh, never mind. I get my own tent. Oh, see? I have shelter too. Can I choose something else then? Ooh. I have some gloves, some rope, a can opener, a Swiss Army knife, a whistle, a compass, more glow sticks, duct tape, and some playing cards in case I get bored when I'm in the wilderness. Wait, really? Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. That's cool. So if you guys want to play a game of cards when we're in the wilderness, come see my tent. Oh, this one's heavy. So, this is emergency drinking water. Easy to use anytime, anywhere. So each bag contains 4.2 ounces of water. Wow, look, touch it, it's really cold. Oh yeah. That's crazy. That's cool. Yeah, this is very handy, thank you. So if you have no water to use with your filter straw, you can use those little packages. Mm -hmm. And I have the same thing, more agua. I mean, I get to go again. Oh. And in here, what is this? Sewing kit. Okay. For some reason, I have a sewing kit. Because I'm going to sew some stuff on my time off. You never know. So I have some shampoo, a sewing kit, feminine pads, shaving cream, toothpaste, a toothbrush, another toothbrush for Ellie, and a towel, and some peppermint taste toothbrush. Wow. And some soap. So we can be homeless and clean. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, let's see. The next thing, oh, what is this? SOS emergency food. Wow. It's a block. Fortified food bars provides 3,600 calories. Wow. Yeah. So it offers maximum survival capacity with drinking water res restrictions under all environmental conditions. Cool. Is it like, like, like meatloaf or mac and cheese or something? I don't know. What is this? It says, this is... Oh, it says right here. It contains sugar, wheat flour, palm, So it's meat. pretty much like a block of... Just grains? I have no idea what it is. Oh, three food bars per person per day. Wow. Alright, so this is a water purification bag. You put water in here and you put these little tablets in there and it purifies the water so, you, so it's safe to use. That's cool. Um, I think I have one more thing in mind. It's more food. Nine more uh, bars. Food bars. I have more food too. Cool. So is that it? Nope. Oh. You got two heavy duty batteries. Okay. You got a flashlight for the batteries, or batteries for the flashlight, and then there's an AM, FM radio with batteries included. So we can listen to music. I'm just kidding. Or the news. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that's it? I think, yeah, that's it on mine as well. They have little pockets in the outside, which they're empty. They come empty. Let me just double check just in case. Yep. So now we're going to reference back to the article we were talking about in the beginning and see what is on their list that we might still be missing. I made a list of all the things we still need, which is actually quite a few things. Now we're going to make a list of all the things we feel like maybe it's not on that list, but we want to add it because we feel like that's something we're going to need, so we'll be right back. Okay, we are back and we've added a few things. Alex told me that I'm adding too much stuff, don't go crazy because in a real scenario, we're not going to 
we're not gonna care about much things just that we survive <laughs> we're gonna do the next step and um, we're gonna go and actually buy these things and we'll be right back with the completed backpack and we are back Clearly, it is a completely different day. We went to the store that day and we bought everything we needed to get. And now we're back and we are committed to finishing this project. So we're just quickly going to show you guys what we bought at the store. And um, maybe Alex should go first because he has a lot fewer things than I do. Deodorant, because apparently people are worried about my smell. Benadryl, because I have allerg allergic reactions to everything. Emergency blanket, pocket size. And fire starter to start fires, obviously. On my side, Alex says I overdid it, maybe a little. <laughs> but I'm just quickly gonna show you. So I got some hand sanitizer. I got some bug spray. I found a little mini Lysol. And then something that we didn't even think about till we got there is that a really good tip is just to go to the travel section. Everything you need is already there and it's super tiny. Um, also deodorant. Um, I got this healing gel. So I think we're just gonna add this to our um, first aid kit. Got this little body spray kind of shampoo thing that you can put on your skin so you can be kind of clean. Um, I also got a blanket that we got at the camping section. I got some pain pills. This is a leave. Oh, my bad. And some Advil. And then I got this little uh, kit. It's like a first aid kit. It's a tiny one that I don't have a first aid kit. He has it in his backpack. So he picked this one out for me, which has a lot of bandages. And it has um, a razor blade and um, some waterproof matches which is one of the things that was on the list that we needed so pretty good i'm not i feel like we should open it now <laughs> just to really know what's in there because we don't want to be like surprised on the day of but oh well he picked it out for me so i trust him i also got a lighter um we got a fire starter for me because i don't know how to start fire. and then i got a flashlight because i don't have a flashlight and this is something i need i guess it's a tiny one, also got it in the um, camping section. And then this one, Alex is making fun of me. <laughs> because I got a little mini tiny Tide. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know why I would need this or if this is even needed at all. But, you know, if like somebody comes up to me and says, Hey sister, do you happen to have some Tide? Like, I've been wearing the same clothes for three days. You know, I got you. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel like I'm putting things in my backpack that I don't actually need. And then um, we both, we actually did buy disposable masks. And when we got home, we realized we don't have them anymore. We don't know. We don't know what happened to them. Um, but good thing we have some cloth masks. Very handy. And then I chose actually um, the ones that go around your head because I know that sometimes they can get a little tiring when you have it behind your ear all the whole time. So the ones that go around the head. And then I also am adding some pads. And then Alex has also utensils. You didn't show me your utensils. Oh, utensils, a random spoon, and a little hat that you can wear. <laughs> you know you can drink out of that? And now it has fuel holes. And you have plates. Baterias, and most importantly, Bible. Other than that, I also have the same thing Alex does and it's something that we found in also the camping section. It's just like cups and plates and spoons and stuff. That was on the recommendation of the list, so that's good to have. So I have some batteries and then I also have my emergency contacts. The emergency contacts, we felt like it was a good idea to add one of our elders' number just in case that they needed to be contacted for some reason. So we added an elder's number at the end of our emergency contacts. And then we have our blood cards as well and then our change of clothes with the undergarments and then of course our bible so now it's time to complete the backpack are you already done oh my gosh Yay! <laughs> he 
finished a lot sooner than me. <laughs> so I really like this backpack because you guys saw all the things I had and still there is so much space remaining. And then there's so many pockets that I didn't even use. So very, very handy. Just remember that every family has different circumstances. Uh, so if you have a baby, obviously your go bags are going to look different. If you're a senior citizen living with you, your go bags are going to look different also. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let us know in the comments what you would add on your go bag. Maybe something that we didn't even think of that you can still give us ideas because of course no disaster has happened yet. So there's still time to always adjust your bag and make it better. Alright, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye! Adios. The next thing on... <laughs> it literally fell her head. You hit my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm even more dumb now. <laughs> oh, and we need a chair because we're gonna be tired sitting on the ground, and we need another cushion because. I should. I say we just take the RV and go. Yeah. Hey, we should get Bea a go bag. Nope. <laughs> a little tiny backpack. It'd be so cute. You'll have your own little treat. Your own little like. We're probably gonna end up having to eat her. <gasps> Carne asada.